The inception was, I saw this article in the New York Times about a couple who'd been married for a long time. And they were an academic couple, and they had children. But anyway, the, the striking thing about them was that over the course of their marriage, they had evolved to opposite political um, persuasions, so that one was a, a lefty, you know, real progressive, and the other one was super right-wing, um, you know, nationalist. And yet they were still married, and they were raising their family together, and it was just, you know, a little bit of an exploration of how do these people manage that, you know? And of course, we've heard of other instances of people in that kind of, but that was seemed like just such a, a metaphor for the difficulties people in long-term relationship have. I mean, that's a more exaggerated version of what most of us deal with, but you know, we come up against those kind of problems. And of course, I was thinking about those kind of problems and um, interested in it because I'm in a long-term relationship of 30 plus years. So um, I just thought that I was interested in that and then could I do paintings about that? Well, so I made a list of people I knew in long-term relationships. I decided it should be at least 15 years, just arbitrarily. And, um, you know, I felt like if I knew the people, they'd be much more likely. How else was I going to get them, right? Okay, so, so I decided I, I couldn't just ask them to come to the studio and sit there because that just seemed very uh, empty in a way. You know, I felt like I wanted to evoke some more feelings and dialogue and stuff. So I, I came up with a list of questions. Using your body's no words right now. Compatibility. Compatibility? Mm -hmm. Hmm. I think I had some misguided notions that I might actually capture these people's relationship on campus, which I you know, came to realize once I got into it that it's ridiculous. There's no way you can capture a relationship. But you know what? So then I ended up um, just looking for moments that spoke to me in the film, you know, in each in the films, because I filmed the entire interview, they were better and, and I'd look through them and just freeze when there was an interaction interesting. And so it became more about, much less about what they said and much more about what their body language was and what was happening. Rich Land Between. In a forest wilderness many years ago, you appeared to me and I appeared to you. Two birds in separate trees, singing to the sky. We looked down to find the ground between us, illuminated by a story we wanted to live. I could see it with your eyes, and you with mine. Since then, we have explored the land between. Every crumb of earth, every stem Golden by day, withering by season, sprouting again and again, until it's hard to tell where your song ends and mine begins. The land between, crisscrossed by our devotions, has revealed how in our life the gifts are many and the price is everything.